Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And we're looking at the moment on some stamp sets and die bundles, which during the month of March this month, they have a 20% discount. So there's a few of them, um, and I'm just going to showcase some of the ones that I've got that I think are really good. And um, today we're looking at Seascape. So Seascape has got lots of um, fishes, um, larger fishes. Um, just thought you should know how wonderful you are. I'm here for you always and a thank you. And lovely fonts on those. Pieces of coral, bubbles, um, seaweed, really pretty stamp set. And then the coordinating dies are the real star of the show. You've got a beautiful seahorse and it cuts it inside. So I've shown it to you before and I will be doing some more later on of these. But it, there are a couple of pieces where it joins on. So you can have it inside a piece of card or you can snip it and have it outside. Exactly the same with this lovely um, goldfish um, or fan-tailed fish. Um, you've got again some nice coral and you've got again some fish. So I'm not going to use these two today. I'm using these two because the stamp and stamping cut and emboss, I always have a struggle with that, stamping cut and emboss mini has got 20% off as well. Now I've shown you that, so I have die cut it already so that we don't have to, to worry about doing that, but that has 20% off as well. You'll always see a link through to my shop and there will be details of all of this over on that. So if you, you can't remember what I'm talking about, it's only for this month, only for the month of March, and it's a 20% discount. Okay, so I've die cut this and I've die cut that. So let me show you those. Um, this particular die cut is absolutely lovely. I hope you can see that. You've got all of these little pieces that um, par partially cut through as well. So they cut through completely. If you wanted to make it 3D, you can pop each one of those out. I'm not going to do it, but you can see how it gives a lovely sort of 3D effect to it. And again, with the fish, you've got these lovely um, details on them. So I've cut the fish come out in, it's one die. So you cut two fish out. And um, yeah, I love it. I love it. So that's what we're using out of these ones, not the two main focal ones which I think everybody uses I wanted to do something a little bit different for you and we're using colors because again the in colors are retiring and we will be getting five new in colors so the in colors that we've got that are retiring are the misty moonlight the just jade the bumblebee the cinnamon cider and the Magenta Madness, a beautiful set of five. So I'm showcasing those five stamp set um, ink pads on my cards for this month to just show you exactly what, um, what you can get. Again, if you want these, you haven't got them, get them now. If you've got them but you haven't got your refills, ink refills, get them now because as soon as they... Um, announce the retirement list which will, they will be doing before the end of this month um, before the end of this month yes towards the end of this month um, you will need to make sure that you get them before then because they go immediately um, and I've had so many people who've turned around and said oh, I missed it I missed it um, and unfortunately, once you've missed it, you've missed it. So I'm using a Just Jade. Again, papers, anything to do with the in colours that you like, get yourselves them now. Um, Just Jade. And then we've got our white piece, which is a quarter of an inch smaller. So wherever you are, whatever your standard base is, um, and then a quarter of an inch to make your mat. So we're going to start with this one. 
and we're doing um I've got a sentiment here as well I'll just put that up there because we're going to use that later so we're going to start with just some nice sort of texturizing I think now I really like this really big to get it out really big piece of sort of coral and I also like the these lovely pieces and I think we're going to have some little fish in on here and we might have some of the sort of speckles which can be sand or the the bottom of the sea uh, and we'll have those as well so let me make sure that I've got the right size blocks and I think I need this one out because this is going to be the right sort of size for that piece of coral Oops. okay so I've got a piece of scrap here as well because I'm not sure whether I'm going to be doing full strengths or half strengths for some of these. Um, now, I want to have this sort of coral. And I'm going to be using the Just Jade quite a bit. Some of the Misty Moonlight. And I think we do we, we want living coral. Don't I, I think I'm going to use some of the Cinnamon Cider, actually. Because I think that that will work quite nicely to give that sort of coral type look. So I'm going to ink it up first. And then I'm going to stamp it off once because that's very dark and I don't want it that dark. And then I'm going to put it in up on here. So that's a second generation stamp which just makes it a little darker, which I think works nicely. Um, you could actually, I've, I've always said about this stamp, you could use it as a tree because it's got these rather lovely sort of branchy sort of looks to it. So if you, you know, you haven't got a, um, a tree, you can have it as branches and things um, quite nicely and just thicken up the trunk which you could do just with a marker or a pen. You know, if you thicken up the tr trunk and bring it down, it's, uh, um, it looks like a tree. So another use for it. I might try doing something with that actually as an idea. Um, okay, so now we want, and the reason I'm doing that is I want this to come sort of in at the bottom, but I want some of these to come through. So I'm going to use this one now and this one is going to be, I think I'm going to use it on the big block again. So let's just pop this one in on the center here. And I'm going to be using the, do I want Just Jade? Do I want Misty? I'm going to be using the Just Jade on this one. I'm trying to sort of build up some layers and things in. Make sure that that's all inked up. Let's have a look at that for first strength. Oh, yes. So that needs to be done second generation as well. To make sure that it's... Okay, so that's first generation. And we're going to have... Oh, excuse me if I've just hit the camera with my head. One down on there. One down on there. So that will do on that bit. Um, and we can clean this off. Whoops. Some of the paper in the back. So at the moment it looks a bit disjointed. But once we've got everything added in together... I think it's going to work quite nicely so you just have to bear with the process um, now we're going to have some of this this bottom piece 
again I'm doing it all on the same one and this is going to be in I'm going to have this in misty moonlight I'll have some of this just down at the bottom and this is going to be full strength so I just want to move this up in on here because I want to take it right sort of down at the bottom like that so you've got those sort of speckling down at the bottom I like that I think that's quite pretty okay so then we're going to have some clean that off we're going to have some I think we're going to have some bubbles because I quite like these bubbles in here so we've got some bubbles as well let's take them out I'm going to keep the others just out on the case in case I want to use them again so these are the bubbles and we've got the fish as well haven't we um, do I need to put some of the fish in first yes I think I do so the fish are we going to have fish that are going to be different colours or are we going to have fish that... I think I'm going to do some in the misty moonlight. You see, I could do them in the bright pink because then we'll have used most of the colours. And you can have, depending what sort of sea it is, and I think it will just add a little bit. So this is the... pink in the sea I'm just testing it to see yes um, do I want it first or second generation I think I want it first generation because I want them to be quite bright so we're going to have them one just sort of going through like that and we'll have another one just in like that we should really have three shouldn't we so should we have another one just coming through like that so that's quite pretty. That's that's bringing in the tones of the colours again, which I think is quite nice. OK, then we've got our bubbles to put in. So the bubbles need to go in with the um, blue. So that's our Misty Moonlight. You can see how once you start using a series of in colours that they do all I'm just looking to see oh it doesn't matter what direction they go they all go very well so I'm just going to take some bubbles in on just in on here so that they're just sort of dotted about a bit maybe in there I want to take some like that and some like that and maybe one in out of the top because I quite like that look of you know the sea and the bubbles if you if you have a um, a tropical fish tank or you've seen the tropical fish tanks they always have lots of bubbles and things in and if you're actually at the the you know doing a bit of scuba diving or something you normally get to see pretty things like that okay so let's start building this up a little bit we might have to put some extra color around the sides i'm not sure we'll see how we're doing where's our base here it is so let's put the base in on here with all of those colors coming through i think that little pop with the fish with the magenta madness looks lovely and then I'm going to put this in over the top because I wanted that to come up like that. And then I'm going to put my R. Oh, now we've got the happy birthday. And this was the die that we were using yesterday from the Quart Meadow. I die cut two of them out because I really love... The fact that with this, because you've got your dotty lines, you can just cut just inside them. So you know you're going to be cutting straight because you're just following along a line. And again, just inside.
just cut along those and then that will fit inside quite nicely and you've got the stitching around it so let's put that on like that and we'll put that in this way just pop it in so that we know that it goes just in where the the edge is and then that looks nice and we can have that coming right the way across the top like that then we can put so we've got that building up and you can see how you've now got quite a few layers coming in now we've just got our little fish so I'm going to have one in on here so just coming through on the top facing those ones and then we can have the other one just in tucked in maybe in this space here so just in on the center like that okay so I'm not going to glue it down now because you can see how I've sort of um, set it up but really pretty pretty card nice to do things again will work for a masculine card as well as um you know a, a, a feminine card every anybody who loves the ocean um so young or old doesn't matter and as i say this seascape bundle so your stamp set and the coordinating dies which are just over here you get 20% off during the month of March. So we've got another three weeks to go. So if you want this, this bundle, I suggest you get it now because it's always good to get it when you get a bit of a discount. So thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.